Here I'm going to show you how to add an additional version of Unity's editor to Unity Hub. So at this point, I'm assuming you already have Unity Hub installed, you probably have an editor version installed, and if you want to install a specific version of Unity's editor, I want to show you how to do that. So what I want to do is go over to installs and it'll show me the versions of Unity editor that I already have installed. Now, I don't have the one I'm looking for. Right now, I only have 2022.3.3, and I'm looking for 2022.3.37 to match the rest of the people I'm working with. So what I want to do is go to Install Editor, and it will suggest some, like for instance, Unity 6 Preview here at this time, a couple of other long-term support versions that it's recommending. However, it's not the one I'm looking for. Notice this is 42. So what I want to do is go over to this archive link. And then there'll be a link here. It says visit our download archive for access. So to the long-term support. So I'm clicking on that. And a browser will open, bringing you to the page of those archives. Now these are all the versions that are available. So you can see here it has you know everything from Unity 6 down to Unity 5 and everything in between. If there is a specific one you'd like to install, you just find it in the list and install it. For me, right now, I'm looking for 2022-337. So that's right, right here. That's also a long-term support version. And the reason I'm using this is that at the time we um, decided as a team which version we would use. This was the most recent. But as you can see, more come out over time. But to stay consistent, we're doing that. Then we don't have any inconsistencies when we're sharing files. So all I have to do is click this Install button, and it will ask me if I can open Unity Hub, which I actually already have. So I'm going to say Open Unity Hub, and then the rest of the install process will take place here. So I believe if I didn't have a Visual Studio Community installed already, it probably would let me do that. I already have that installed, but I could add additional modules if I need it, but I'm, I'm all set with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Install. Also, before I go ahead, make sure you have enough space to install. So now this will take a little while I'm going to expand this so you can kind of see the process. It'll take a little while to download and then it'll actually install and it should take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in the video so you don't have to just sit here because notice right now it's just downloading and then after that it takes even longer for installing. So my guess is around you know, like 10 minutes-ish, 5-10 minutes, but I'll report back after I fast forward and start the video again. Okay, so my install's complete. That took about 7 minutes on my end, but it could vary for you. I have heard every so often people get stuck where parts installing and it's not completing. I honestly am not sure why that happens, if it's a bad connection or what, but in general, for me anyway, it took about 7 minutes. All right, so at this point, I should be able to go to my projects. And if I say new project, up at the top now, it gives me my editor options. So this is the one I just installed, the 2022-337. Otherwise, I had this other version. So you just choose the one you'd like to start in. And then, you know, I can make a project from there. So I hope this helps you find how to install different versions of the Unity Editor.